Did you know that migration can be good for trade and that migrants help to create trade links between countries? In this explainer video, we will be looking at how migration and trade are interlinked. We will do this by specifically focusing on how migration can affect trade, but also how trade can affect migration. But before we go further, we need to first be clear about what we mean by migration and what we mean by trade. Migration is the movement of a person from one place to another for the purpose of residing in the new place. International trade is commonly defined as the buying and selling of goods and services across international borders. Now let's begin with how migration can affect trade. There is clear consensus from research on this topic that more migration leads to increased trade. On average, a 10% increase in the stock of migrants in a destination country leads to a 1.5% increase in trade flows. But why is this? There are two main mechanisms through which migration leads to more trade. First, migrants reduce the transaction costs of trade, meaning they reduce the cost of doing business between countries. This is because migrants often have in-depth knowledge of their origin country's markets, social and business networks, language, and business practices. This knowledge, combined with the access they may have to their host country's markets, can lower expenses incurred for both imports and exports. Second, they can increase the demand for certain goods in the country of destination. This is also called the immigrant preference effect. Effectively, immigrants' demand for products from their origin countries increases imports of these so-called nostalgia goods to the host countries. So, what is exactly a nostalgia good or the nostalgia trade? Well, the nostalgia trade refers to the consumption of home country goods by the diasporic community in countries of destination specifically those goods that are manufactured in the country of origin. So some examples of home country goods include, among other things, books, music, films, textiles and clothing, utensils and dishes, ceremonial goods, and food and drinks. Nostalgia goods help immigrant communities to maintain a sense of identity and community while living transnational lives. There is, however, an important time dimension here. While imports are likely to increase in the short run, in the long run, these imports can decrease if the size of the immigrant community grows large enough for local firms in the host country to produce these goods. Now let's look at the effect of trade on migration. There is a lack of consensus in the applied empirical literature meaning that the evidence in this area is mixed. What we do know is that there is an important time dimension here. In the short and medium term, increased trade leads to more development and economic growth, which initially stimulates more migration. In the longer term, it is assumed that an increasing volume of trade flows leads to a reduction in migration by fostering sustainable development. But this is only after development hits a certain point, as we've talked about in other videos on the relationship between migration and development. However, we do have to be careful here, as trade liberalization does not automatically lead to economic growth, but only does so under specific conditions. So the relationship between migration and trade is clear when it comes to the effects of migration on trade. More migration generally leads to more trade between the country of origin and the country of destination. On the other side, it is much less clear exactly how trade affects migration and is much more nuanced, with a number of factors playing a role. While there is much more that can be discussed here, I hope that this video gave you some more insight into how migration and trade are interlinked. Please be sure to leave your questions and comments in the comment section and like this video if you found it helpful. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we upload every week. And I do hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.